help their customers paint a better picture of what to expect in volatile times. Joining us now, Gong co-founder and CEO, Amit Bendov. Amit, good to see you. Uh, we first chatted a couple months ago, and uh, we are talking about what you guys do with data to help companies understand uh, how well sales is going, improve their sales process. And I want to get to your news, but before we get to that, I really want to talk about guidance because the investors who are watching CNBC are, are kind of caught up in, in trying to see what guidance is going to do. How important is forecasting sales to that process and why is that harder at a time of uh, high inflation and uncertain demand? Well, this, this question uh, could be more timely, John. So first, like everybody, all investors are watching earnings reports like a hawk and everybody's trying to understand what's going on, even in companies themselves. And that makes CEOs and CFOs extremely nervous because they want to set the expectation right. They want to know what, uh, what, what they should expect. And, and forecasting is always hard because traditionally it relied on some historical trending and what we're seeing and people's opinions, what the sales team, what the people in the front are thinking that the numbers are going to be. Uh, both are extremely challenging. Now, in times like this, historical trending um, is extremely uh, hard. Even I've heard of like unprecedented, you just, uh, just mentioned, talk about the currency and uh, even like Benny of saying this, never seen anything like that. So all the historical trending is out the window. Second, people's opinions, what makes like CEOs and CFOs nervous is words like I believe or I think or here's what I think will happen. What Gong Forecast does is actually like taps into actual customer conversation. If, if a customer is in mentioning on a Zoom call that uh, my CFO asked me to push you to next quarter or, um, you know, we're not going to be able to afford this uh, via emails, via voice or any other uh, means, it pulls out of insights directly into the forecast, bubbles it up, up to the more uh, senior leadership team. And now companies are in touch with reality in near real time, not just based on opinions or worthless trending. It's based on reality here and now. So, Amit, uh, getting now to this product that you're announcing and the need for it, when we hear CEOs on an earnings call say last week or last month, saying what they expect for the back half of the year. In this environment, are they relying on uh, AI and, and, and kind of modern sales trends to do that? Or are they kind of relying on historical data or something like, how much can they really know when things are changing so fast? And how much can AI even tell them? I mean, isn't that, listening to the conversation, isn't that telling you what's happening this quarter? Is it really telling you what's gonna happen a couple quarters out? No, I mean, especially in times like these. So companies are using the same thing that they've done in the last, like, you know, 30 or 40 years. Use kind of historical data and, and opinions from uh, that are uh, bubbling bottom up. AI is new and now can really change the game, but monitor not just what people think, but what customers actually say or they don't say. If there is like a large deal that you're working on, and it is expected to close, but AI is monitoring the competition, listen and says. We have not uh, heard anything about pricing or budgeting. That's a big red flag. So now that deal could be flagged as at risk and, and companies can have more um, confidence around their forecast with AI. 